you pray with me. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts be acceptable to you, O oh God, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. It matters that we tell our stories because we can't really grasp the, or appreciate the miracle of salvation if we don't know the stories behind it. Take Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus is a tax collector. That means he was not a very well-liked man, and for good reason. Tax collectors colluded with the Roman Empire, the powers that occupied and kept down first century Jews. They took up tax for the emperor and then they collected a little extra or a lot extra for themselves. Tax collectors lived lives of luxury on the backs of their fellow citizens. Second, Zacchaeus was the chief tax collector and he lived in Jericho, which was a major port city for trading with the East. So that means he was not just any tax collector he is the creme de la creme. And finally, Zacchaeus is short. A wee little man, even. Couple that with his unpopular status as chief tax collector, and it's unlikely that anyone is going to step aside for the little guy. Which means he had to do something extravagant to see Jesus, this notorious, rich, dignified tax collector, has to scramble up a sycamore tree to see the Lord. And the rest, as they say, is history. It matters that we tell our stories. Today is, as you can tell from the Bagpipes Reformation Sunday, we celebrate this Sunday on whatever Sunday is closest to All Hallows Eve or Halloween, October 31st, because on October 31st in 1517, the German reformer Martin Luther nailed his 95 theses to the church door of the cathedral in Wittenberg. With that, Luther aired his list of many grievances against the Catholic Church of his day and sparked the movement that we know as the Protestant Reformation. Luther's ideas about the church were widely disseminated because of this great new invention in Germany called the printing press. His thoughts were picked up by John Calvin, who was a Frenchman who had to flee his country into Geneva, Switzerland, who then taught the theology to his student, John Knox, a Scot who went back to Scotland and taught these teachings and ideas to his people. The Scottish formalized this Protestant theology and this new way of doing church into something that they called Presbyterianism. And then during the English Civil War, as these Scots fled the colony, fled to the colonies that would become the United States and founded the Presbyterian Church in the United States of America. And the rest, as they say, is history. It matters that we tell our stories. For what is the gospel if not a bunch of stories? Stories of Abraham and Moses, of Miriam and Deborah. Stories of Jesus and all those who followed him. Stories of Paul and Lydia, of Peter and Tabitha of all those saints who became the fledgling early church. There have always been those in the church who argue for what they call a pure philosophical religion, that there is some essence of God and spirituality, 
some right or wrong way of doing things. But friends, Christianity is not a philosophical religion. This faith we share is about incarnation, God in flesh and blood with skin on, Jesus Christ walking among us. The faith that we believe and that we practice is story upon story upon story. Everything about our religion, our faith, is the, the way we read the Bible, the way we understand God, the relationship that we have with Christ and with one another. It will all look different based on our stories. Thanks be to God for that. It matters that we tell our stories. It matters that Zacchaeus was short. It matters that Martin Luther lived right after the invention of the printing press. It matters that centuries later, Padre Antonio Martinez would obtain the first printing press in New Mexico and found schools in Taos to educate children and promote literacy here in this community. It matters that this same Padre Martinez had a bit of a falling out with the leadership of the Catholic Church so that after he died in 1867, a group of his followers were looking for a Protestant leader in a predominantly Catholic community. They found that in the Presbyterian missionary, John Roberts. And so this church was founded in 1874, First Presbyterian Church in Taos. The rest, as they say, is history. But friends, it's our history and our story, and it matters that we tell it. Because who we are and how we got here shapes what salvation looks like in our lives. So what is your story? How did you get to this community? Did you grow up here or did you move from far away? Did you come to faith as a child or as an adult? Are you a lifelong Presbyterian or have you been shaped by another religious tradition? Are you a Taos Hispanic? Are you Anglo? Does your family come from the Pueblo? Are you an immigrant from Mexico or Europe or that far off land they call Texas? <laughs> what are the moments that have shaped your faith that have made you who you are? Friends, it matters that we tell our stories. Our church is preparing for a season of storytelling. This time next year in fall of 2023, I will be taking a three-month sabbatical during which you all have resoundingly said you want to explore the history and the stories of our church. You want to spend some time telling the stories of who you are and who we are, how you got here and how we got here. That's a year from now. Two years from now, fall of 2024, our church will be getting ready to celebrate our 150th birthday. Now that is one big party. And as we get ready to celebrate, as we spend this time together, it is good to tell our stories, to remember who we are, where we came from, and who was with us along the way. So this year, in the spirit of Reformation Sunday, instead of posting your complaints on the church door, which please don't do, we'd rather you talk to us, less nail holes, we're asking you to post your stories over on the billboard or the church bulletin board in the coffee room. 
We're asking you to ask your questions. Tell us your memories of the church, of this church and any church where your story has intersected with God's story. Who was it that first told you the stories of Jesus? What was the church like when you were growing up? Why do you still come back here time and time again today? And post a few questions. What stories do you want to hear? What is it that you want to know about this community of faith? about Presbyterians, about the church in general. Why do Presbyterians baptize babies? Why are there two Presbyterian churches in a small town like Taos? What's the history there? Where did our hymns and music come from? Why do Presbyterian churches always have so many darn committees? Friends, it matters that we tell our stories. We are people of stories, people of the book. And today on Reformation Sunday, we are invited to remember our stories and to celebrate them, to tell each other those tales and to rejoice in the diversity of how God's story shows up in each of our individual stories, to learn and to marvel and all the ways that salvation shows up. So friends, let's play our songs, fly our little flags, and tell our stories. And let us be a community that is big enough to hold them all. Thanks be to God.